an interesting place today. It's a mixture of heathland and bogland, wetland. It's uh, the Humberhead Levels. Quite rich in wildlife. There's uh, supposedly lots of adder about. Not seen one yet, <laughs> but hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get to see one. There's the usual things like roe deer, which I've seen lots of signs of so far. I plan to do a, well, a wild camp tonight. I've got my uh, light pack on today, just with the tarp and the bivy. So, hopefully, I do a wild camp. The night jar's about. Again, get to hear them tonight. Yeah, planning to have a good look about, film things of any interest, and camp up tonight. Perhaps in one of these little little forests. I'm going light today. Got the uh, montane rucksack. Not bad, not bad size. 52 litres. So I can get all my wild camping gear in. The walking poles on the outside, coat, straps to the front. It's got a bit of water to the side. It packs about, it's about seven kilograms, just over seven kilograms. I've got a bit of extra water today because there's no, no drinkable water here. So I've got some extra water in the pack. Yeah, all light stuff, just a tarp, sleeping bag, booty bag, and a thermo rest. And some clothing, that's about it really, some food. Not a great deal of food. I'm a bit hungry by tomorrow, <laughs> but uh, you don't need a great deal of food. Calories you need, so I've got enough calories. Yeah, how quickly this, <laughs> this little MSR stove boils, boils very quickly. <laughs> the handle gets hot. So I've got enough cup of tea. What well, I use when I'm lightweight camping is a bag of tilde rice and some cup of soup. That's a quick easy meal that. What I like to eat when I'm camping? Double decker. Can't be a double decker. I've just seen a snake in here somewhere, but I think it's, it's that much, that many holes and things to go under. I've tried looking for it, but couldn't find it. 
I mean, it could have been a grass snake or an adder, I'm not sure. But it's given me a bit of hope. There's some about. It does actually look like a good place to, uh, to find snakes. This is a big cleared bank. It's obviously a bit of heat for them. Plenty of cover. Looks, looks quite managed as well, so... Dedicated for snakes, maybe. We have to try in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I only moved because I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes. It's a very damp, luscious wood, this. Yeah, there's mosquitoes everywhere, so I moved, flicked a mosquito off my face. And she got more anxious. She knew I was there, but she couldn't make out what I was. I've got my usual bivvy bag set up, snug pack bivvy bag, grab sleeping bag, thermos light, and just a, a footprint, just protected from the, uh, the hard base. It should be a mild night, hopefully no rain, but the, uh, it's a bit, a bit breezy, so I'll cool things down. I think I'll be fine in, in all this. Yeah, so I'll just use my pivot tonight. And if it does rain in the middle of the night, I can quickly bring something on the tarp up. But fingers crossed it won't rain. Got my usual pivot set up. Rab sleeping bag. My thermal, thermal rest air mat. I've got it on a uh, footprint just to protect it from the, the rough base. But yeah, I should do with that tonight. It should be a uh, mild night, but it's breezy.
I saw the night jars, the confusion of the night jars. Had some people round. <laughs> Had four people come who were studying the night jars as well. So they came round to see what I was doing. They were fine. That's the first time that's happened. They were watching them as well. Good views. Got pestered by the mosquitoes. They kept me awake a little bit. But it's first light and I packed up. I'm going to go for a look about. See what I can see. I'm going to see some adders. See any adders? Just means gonna have to come back again. Good views of the night jar though, and the deer. It's been a nice, uh, nice two days. It just started to rain, so I'm gonna go back to the car, call it a day.